What's going on gang? Matt from Matt's Rad Show here. Today we are traveling through another uh, salvage yard in search of old classic cars. Classic car parts, classic cars, just in general. Well, I'll be searching for anything and everything today on this junkyard, salvage yard. It's up in uh, New London, Minnesota. One of the few old salvage yards left. It's awesome. Uh, so yeah, we are, uh, it's called uh, Windy Hill Auto Parts, I believe. So um, again, I mean, if you're wondering about what they have out here, it's just really kind of the, the kind of a place where you got to show up, search through the yard yourself and check it out. I'm not sure you're going to be able to call them and, and ask them about anything, but you might, you might, you can give it a try. I think they got a website. So um, anyways, guys, I appreciate you watching these types of episodes. It's a cold morning out here. It's cold, but uh, I got my hat out here. It's actually warmed up a little bit, so I'm not quite wearing it right yet, but it's, it's pretty cold. It'll be coming on pretty soon. Um, but yeah, this place is pretty amazing. A lot of, a lot of acreage out here. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to get to all of it today, but uh, let's start snooping around, guys. <laughs> I love doing this, so yeah, let's go. Let's do this. All right, here we are at uh, Windy Hill up in New London. The gentleman was nice enough to let me film film here again so i appreciate that this, this place is a treasure trove of just awesome old school junkyards there's not many junkyards like this left i love this place let's see last year no two years ago i was here i went down that road i'm gonna go down this road here first this time around let's see what we can dig up here all right Come over the hill here. It's just like, look at all this stuff. Look at that. It's about what we're, it's what we're about to wander into. I think more of the newer cars, I think, are up front, and there's classic cars just scattered all about around here. Looks like a Corvair right there. As you can tell, they're just, whoops, I'm zoomed in here still. Sorry about that. Well, let's start. Let's start picking. <laughs> I'm not going to pick anything but f good shots out of here, but I don't know. A lot of people watch these kind of videos on my channel and find stuff they need for their cars, so that's kind of fun. Look at that. Man, not much left in this old bro, huh? Look at this here. Looks like a 60. It's a four door. Looks like she used to have a straight six in her. I wonder if this was a Impala or a Biscayne. Looks like it was a Biscayne. So 1960 Biscayne. Four door. <laughs> you know what? Last time I was here the door on this thing was doing the same thing. <laughs> Almost like the place is welcoming me back. This old, this old Chevy truck here. It's so quiet out here. I actually kind of love how quiet it is out here at this yard. It's out here in New London. New London, Minnesota. Pretty far away from most, most things. <laughs> Took a while to get here. Look at that. I'm sure we'll find a lot of four doors today. tractor nice couple of delivery
There's an old Ford. Ford Fairlane, looks like. Probably a 58, maybe, I'm not sure. Maybe this one has two over here. Pretty cold morning. It's like 30 degrees out right now. You guys don't care about the weather. <laughs> I apologize. That might just be the Minnesota in me giving you guys updates on the weather. Oh, this old Montclair. Just this last week I was at a, you know, a classic car dealership looking at some of the nicest, you know, classic cars that were kept in beautiful, almost original condition. And then coming out here, it's quite a difference. This old Ford Thunderbird here. Chevy Bel Air. Catching some air there, dude. Like, <laughs> it's kind of a fun yard because, you know, a lot of people come out here and pick their own whatever out of the car. So, a lot of the cars are held up. <laughs> like, get some pretty fun shots of the cars, like up like this. Look at this. It's an old Scout here. A couple of them looks like. right there looks like another old Chevy here probably a Biscayne again left of this old Bel Air here. Four door. Look at that. <laughs> Man. Oh, this one reminds me of my grandma's car right there. Same green color and everything. My grandma's was in a little better shape than that, but it's all right. <laughs> this old wagon here, buried. Oh, this is a great yard. I love this yard. Trucks here. 
license plate says 83 on it so that was the last time this little girl was out working she'd been retired for a while this old Ford early 50s not sure exactly nice all right Keep cruising through here you can dig up a little bit of mud little trucks Little square body Fords up back there. There's an old girl who's been picked apart. Ah, nice. Looks like she had the old red and white interior. <laughs> yeah. Old Buick. It's old Buick. There you go, girl. Film your numbers for ya. <laughs> you ain't forgot about just yet, girl. People in my channel are gonna be watching giving you a thumbs up don't worry <laughs> am I weird for talking to old cars probably I don't care <laughs> I don't know if you guys heard that but another wind just blew and blew some stuff over here this junkyard has a soundtrack it talks to you when you're out here <laughs> oh look at all these old trucks Oh my gosh, dude, this is amazing. Oh, this is great. A lot of the front ends of these old panel vans are taken. shots it is deer hunting season out here so <laughs> hopefully they're not hunting for deer in the junkyard they shouldn't be oh, look at that old truck look at that the old Ford We got some puppies. Hi guys. Hi puppies. <coughs> oh jeez. Got some junkyard dogs after me. They look nice. Hi guys. Oh come go say hi. Oh come say hi. Hi guys. <laughs> what you guys doing out here? <laughs> hey guys. What you doing? Hi. <laughs> Are you guys playing? Are you guys playing? Well, hello. Hello, hello. <laughs> I might have some companions for the rest of this episode here. <laughs> there they go, living their best life. Junkyard dogs. <clears throat> Hi, girls. Okay, guys, okay. 
front of my Dr. Doolittle here. Hold on, guys. Give me some, give me some space. <laughs> I think I'm going to have a couple of friends for the rest of this episode here. I've said it before in my episodes. Dog, dogs just tend to take a liking to me. <laughs> you guys. Oh, look at this. Got some really old ones here. Early 1920s something or other. Straight six. The moss growing. friends have gone <laughs> they just came to welcome me and they took off <laughs> oh nope I spoke too soon <laughs> you guys what are you doing all right I'm gonna head up this direction I don't have much rhyme or reason to where I'm where I'm going here You guys know where the good stuff is. Where's the good stuff? I wonder how many rat rods you can make out of this one junkyard. Dogs are just hanging out with me. Guys, guys are not gonna make this easy on me. Uh, puppies, good puppy. It's an old Pontiac. There they are again. I'm gonna call you guys Salt and Pepper. I don't know what your names are. Looks like we might have a few muscle, muscle cars up this way. Another Pontiac there. Looky here. Old Pontiac Catalina. Dyna Flow. Old Buick. like we have a 59 here let me, let me tilt the earth back up on its right axis here there we go doing its impression of a stunt car here four door let's go see what this is here there's the back end of her <laughs> Pretty beat up. Pretty beat up and picked through. All kinds of stuff. Looks like a 58 Impala right here. What, what's left of, of a couple of them anyway. 
or maybe it was a Biscayne as well. Another four door. A lot of four doors. Nothing left. Looks like a, a 56 wagon here. Paulson Plumbing and Heating. Looks like his old work probably was a... Yeah, look at that. That was probably a box that he built for his tools and stuff. Look at that. 56 Chevy wagon. That's why I love coming to these things. You, you get a little detail like that, you can start piecing the story together. This guy's a plumber, worked as a plumber, heating, heating and plumbing. Drove around a whole 56 wagon and get the job done. Oh, look at the <laughs> look at the uh, rear view mirror you put on there. Must have been backing up into some interesting places. <laughs> Probably had a trailer maybe he was towing, huh? Putting that on there. That's cool. Rest in peace there, old girl. I'm sure you got your owner to a lot of good jobs. Oldsmobile 88. Have a nice Oldsmobile. Pretty pick through. Power break. Take another 58 there. Man, this is this is one massive yard. I've heard it used to be even bigger. <laughs> Guys. Looks like they're well fed. They're well taken care of, it looks like. A little grungy, but they're fine. <laughs> what is what is this? Look at this. I'm not sure what this is. Can someone leave a comment? Some sort of fun little sports car. What do you guys think? Cool car? No car. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I got nothing. I don't know what this is. There you go. <laughs> Another old panel van here. What's that say? What's the patinometer say here? Electrical contractors. 
Look at that. You can see the old logo almost. A little light bulb of some sort. No job to something. Not sure. <laughs> old Honda out here. Chevy van. Here's an old Thunderbird. Is that a 59, I think? I'm not sure. Old International here again. Here's an old Impala. <laughs> Look at that. That's great. Looks like uh, 1974 was the last time she was registered. A lot of four doors, of course. Oh, Bonneville. <laughs> it's got his top up. Nice warm day like today. Look at that. Nice old international. Well, nice, I don't know about, but <laughs> international. Old truck. Chevy there. Another Chevy truck. And here's another, another Chevy here. Here they go. They certainly, good grief, <laughs> they certainly have taken a liking to me. Good boys, good junkyard dogs. You guys take good care of the place out here, I bet. Look at this little coronet. Old Dodge coronet. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Here's an old Ford. Ooh, a Chevy Vega. <laughs> yeah. Look at that. There you go. Yeah. Old Chevy Vega. <laughs> I've seen a couple of these girls souped up before. They can be pretty fun. <clears throat> Not much left. Empty. Still got the seat belts. Safety first. Jeez. That old Ford again. A 
looks like 78 was the last time she was on the road oh look at what I think is an El Camino over here check it out Six, I think. <laughs> Look at that. I think this is another little Honda. Yep. 84 was the last time she was registered. What do you guys think? <laughs> you guys. Alright, we're going to wander up this way. Go see what's out here. See some more cars off yonder. And through the magic of video editing, we're there. Isn't video editing fun? Let's see what we got here. Go over here and look at this old Pontiac. Look at this. Is this an old chieftain? I'm not sure. This is a Pontiac 8. split window. Love that. Straight six. I bet it matters. That is that is pretty cool actually. This is an old Hudson. Here's another, here's another old Hudson. Someone's been propping her up here. Alright, I seem to have wandered into the post-apocalyptic area of the yard where there was an all-out war and everybody was driving buses. <laughs> I 
I'm guessing, I'm guessing my audience doesn't care too much about buses, so we won't spend a lot of time on the buses here. But this is an old bus, look at this. What do these have in them? Old six, straight six. Look at that tank on the front there. It's a propane tank. I'm guessing probably when somebody probably converted this into a uh, some sort of a living. Yeah, <laughs> a barbecue. Maybe they had, oh yeah, see they got that hooked up. It was a propane tank hooked up to their indoor stove. Another old bus somebody converted into a some kind of a living quarters, I think. back here. <laughs> Look at that old TV. Look at the, the bed back there had some sort of fancy thing on the ceiling there. <laughs> All right. Let's get back to some classic cars here. Or what it used to be anyways. Old Chevy. Is that 57? I think we got an old Cadillac here. I think my dog friends are found something to bark at over there. This old caddy looks like she's preparing to take off here. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. Still looks good. Still a few pieces to pick off this old caddy here. Look at apart yeah An old Ford
an Impala. What's left of her anyway? Bel Air here. Yeah. Wagon. A few old wagons here. <laughs> Which was was here first, the tree or the truck? I'm guessing the tree was here first. <laughs> oh, there's my friends again. Oh, geez. I was wondering where you guys went. You guys find something to. <laughs> nice. Here they come. I was wondering where you guys went. This an old uh, Plymouth Valiant over here, maybe. Yeah, I think that was a Plymouth Valiant. I think it's another Plymouth right here. Might be a row of Plymouths. This is a Plymouth Valiant. I think it is. I saw one roughly around the same year as this at my uh, car show I went to in South St. Paul that was like in really good condition. Yeah. Dodges mixed in here, I think. A little Mopar row, there's a dart. Look at this. Looky here. Not much left of her, but still. Some pieces here left. Somebody leave a comment of what year Mopar this is. What make it is. Is it another Valiant? Is that... I don't know my Valiant logos. I'm not sure. But this back windshield here is looking pretty good still. The round winch, I think those are kind of tough to find too. So, there you go. Anybody need Mopar? This has got to be around a 65 something. I'm not sure which. I don't think it's a Barracuda. Come and think of it. Was the Valiant and Barracuda, was it like a Plymouth Valiant Barracuda at one point? I feel like I've seen that. So I don't know. Someone let me know. Leave a comment below. It's a pretty cool find here though. It's a two-door still. It's definitely not a project car, but you might be able to pick some stuff off of it. <coughs> cool. See if there's any other Mopars around here. It's an old Corvair. what's left of the old engine back here yeah. what is <laughs> what's going on over here behind this truck and you can see something's trying to jump over that truck over there let's go take a look 
All right. Well, <laughs> I got the, the Duke boys trying to, oh wow, look at another one. Duke boys trying to jump over this thing. Yeah, look at that. Another rear window. That looks pretty decent. Two door. Pretty sure this is a Barracuda. left you guys are good junkyard dogs here we go is this an old Chrysler what is this See what we got here in the weeds. Yeah, look at that. I think there's a couple of Chryslers here. Yeah, there's an old Ford Galaxy 500. <laughs> Not much left. Probably not going to walk through that. Dogs are probably fine. <laughs> it's kind of nice having them here, actually. They've been good little companions. Nice. Got the old flathead V8 in her. A few old Fords kicking about around here. Overdrive. <laughs>
I got an old Studebaker sitting here in the middle of the road. So I think it is, or was. Yeah, I think this was an old Studebaker. Can't really tell, bullet nose is gone, but I think this is uh, one of the old, like, 50, 51 era Studebakers. Looks like they, <laughs> yeah, it looks like she might've been in a few race track, derby tracks, dirt tracks, I mean, before they put her out to pasture. <laughs> Had a little fun, had a little fun before it was time to be done. Yeah. There's no Chrysler. Oh, this is probably the closest thing we'll find to Christine. She's even out here in a junkyard. <laughs> Before you correct me, I know Christine was a Plymouth Fury, but this is probably the closest thing we'll find to her out here. It's even a two door. One of the few two doors I've seen out here. Yeah, not much left on the inside here. Easy. Traversing this junkyard. Got an old Camaro here, I think. Not much left. I think that's actually a Firebird. It's a Pontiac, I think. There's another one right here. Ooh, here's the... Uh... Yeah, looks like a Camaro here. Not much left. <laughs> How much left of any of these? Ooh, 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 this is a Berlinetta model. Look at there. Berlinetta. This was the fancier of the models you could get. A few more bells and whistles on. <laughs> uh, look at this here. There's that old Z car, Nissan. Got the T-tops on her and everything. <laughs> look at that. Still's got the Z on her. Look at here. Porsche 924. A few Porsches out here. Porsches. Sorry, my bad. Wonder if that's what's his name's car from the end of 16 Candles. The old John Hughes flick. Well, we're getting into the newer cars here. And uh, I'm gonna wander back over into the classics over here. What was this thing? Is this an old Austin Healy, maybe? I don't know what. Oh, this little MG. You can see the. Well, it used to be the MG logo.
Some old Chevys over here. Let's see what we got back here. Part of this old flathead. Yeah. Yeah. Wandering back here where there's just a few cars just kind of scattered about back here. Nineteen thirty-nine, it's got written on this one. <laughs> Not much left of these. Think of the history of these cars, how long they've been sitting out here. Look at this. <laughs> Got some real old ones out here. Look at this. The old wooden, wooden spokes there. Look at that. Alrighty, you two. I'm about ready to head out of here. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out with me, you guys. Appreciate the companionship while I was out here. But we're heading up uh, the final path back to the where we started from here, I think. Of course, there's a ton more cars out here that I, I didn't get to. This is my second time here. <clears throat> I've got another video of this place that I took about two years ago. So, I'll look at this. So if you're interested in snooping around more areas of this place, you can watch that video too. Look at that. A lot of old, uh, deliveries out here. We still got some good fenders on her. Well, <laughs> yeah, take that back. Yeah. Off they go. <laughs> Those are some happy dogs, I gotta say. They were super happy. Nice pups. Not a bad life. Just farting around in a salvage yard, I guess. Probably come in at night, get some food, head out during the day, work the yard. <laughs> I gotta say, not a bad life. Ford. Half of one anyway. 
<laughs> yeah. Followed me up. These doors. If <laughs> that's not something out of a horror movie. Almost like they were waving goodbye to me. <laughs> yeah, somebody's just drove into the yard. Off they go, the greeting crew. <laughs> to go do their job. What a couple of good dogs, man. Old junkyard dogs. I'm glad their names weren't Chopper. Anybody remembers the movie Stand By Me and the junkyard those boys were in? You don't want a chopper situation. Oh, Shiro. All right, well, we're back up here at the start. I think I saw a couple of uh, Studebakers out in the front yard here. I'll film those before we go, but that about wraps it up, I think. Well, an old Ford anyway, and there's a there's no bullet nose. An old Ford and a. Old bullet nose here. I think those are a couple of old Lincolns right there. AAA. Alrighty gang, well, I think that's all she wrote. One final look at the old Studebaker. Fozzie Bears. Natural habitat. A Studebaker. Yeah, they got a whole fire truck over here. Who wants an old fire truck? Another old Ford Thunderbird there, looks like. Kind of cool. Guys used to sit right there. Yeah, hey, looky there. <laughs> Still sounds pretty solid. Alrighty gang, well, that is all the time I have for today, so I appreciate you guys uh, watching this episode. Please do give it a like, subscribe, give it that thumbs up for me, share the video for me if you can. Uh, and yeah, I appreciate you guys watching. This was a fun time snooping around. I got a couple of uh, couple of buddies here, a couple of little puppy friends. So they kept me, they kept me good companions while I was searching through this lonely yard. So um, hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and uh, yeah, I'm going to travel on down the road. We'll see you guys on the next one. Check you later. Okay, bye.